McLaren Healthcare, the latest hospital network responding to serious tech issues, but the provider has yet to reveal what's causing it. It's hard to tell whether it is an outside malicious attack or if they're having an issue with a software update or some type of vendor that they work with. A lot of these things look and feel very similar. Cybersecurity expert David Derajotis points to the recent CrowdStrike disaster that disabled Microsoft, grounded Delta planes, and disrupted so many businesses. It seemed malicious, but was actually a coding error in an update, unlike the ransomware attack that hobbled Ascension hospitals earlier this year. Ascension, as well as Change Healthcare, if you go back to February, one of the largest payment providers in the entire healthcare ecosystem was impacted with ransomware. In that case, they did pay a $22 million ransom. So far, McLaren has only said they're experiencing a disruption to our information technology platforms and telephone systems. We are working to determine the extent of the disruption and do not have a time frame to restore functionality. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may cause our patients. McLaren says out of an abundance of caution, they may reschedule some elective procedures, but if you do have a scheduled appointment, you should plan to attend unless contacted by a patient care representative. If you go to that appointment, make sure you bring a list of current medications as well as printed physician orders for imaging or treatments, printed results of lab tests, and a list of allergies. When you have to turn people away because you can't review the medical records, you have to turn away surgical procedures that are taking place, lives can be at stake. So it really raises the bar in terms of the fallout and the risk. McLaren's healthcare system includes 13 hospitals, ambulatory surgery centers, and more. Their website was down Monday and part of Tuesday, but appeared to be back online Tuesday afternoon. There had been reports of ambulances diverted to other hospitals, but it's not clear just how patient care has been impacted. When you hear stories about ambulances being diverted with IT systems, phones, computer networks being how you're saying that there's an act of disruption taking place. It sounds like malicious activity to me. For people concerned about their personal information, Dara Joda says keep an eye on your credit report and your explanation of benefits. You want to look for any red flags that you may see in terms of services that have been provided or procedures that are uh, being documented under your name. You're going to want to review your credit report consistently. In Southfield, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.